Canyons Endurace has been one of the most popular options on the market for years. But is their latest edition of the bike any good? We've just got this out of the box and it's going to be reviewed very, very soon. But for now, we've got the key tech details that you need. But before we dive too deep, let's take a look at the five things you need to know. Number one, working with Swiss side, Canyon says that the new Endure saves seven watts over the previous Endure's measured at 45 kilometers per hour, which is quite quick. Number two, Canyon has increased the tire clearance on the new Endure's from 30 millimeters to 35 millimeters allowing riders to get creative with the surfaces that they ride on. Number three, instead of providing mounts for an external bag, Canyon has integrated a small hatch in the new Endurace's top tube, which opens to reveal an internal storage compartment. Number four, the bike gets the CP0018 aero cockpit that was originally designed for the aero race bike. So that's width and height adjustment built in for you. And finally, number five, the CF SLX costs between 3,699 euros and 5,499 euros. If you want the CFR version that Jack has, it'll cost you up to 9,999 euros. Now working with Swiss side, Canyon says that the new Endure saves seven watts over the previous Endure race measured at 45 kilometers per hour. Now this is partly due to the use of Canyon's CP0018 aero cockpit across all of the eight new CFR and CF SLX bikes, which hides aero drag inducing cables and hoses. The cockpit also allowed Canyon to create a narrower head tube, thereby reducing the frontal area of the bike. Canyon has also refined the fork design for aerodynamics with a longer cord than the previous Endurace. Fantastic, I can hear you exclaim another confusing term from the bike industry to describe something that no one needs to really worry about. Canyon uses the term cord to refer to the side profile of the fork. Canyon says that the forks are sleeker in profile. They are also narrower to look at from the front of the bike, but Canyon says, to add strength and stability, they are wider from the side profile. Canyon says that the down tube is more slender than the previous Endurace for aerodynamics, proving that even bikes for tackling long distances in comfort need to be optimized. Now, if you like this combination of speed and comfort, then why not check out our top five endurance bikes, which comes out in just a couple of days. The Endurance AL arguably borrowed from the world of gravel bikes with two mounts for a top tube bag. It wouldn't have been unreasonable to expect this feature to kind of carry over to the new carbon fiber Endurace bikes, but Canyon has opted for a different solution. Instead of providing mounts for an external bag, Canyon has integrated a small hatch in the Endurace's top tube, which opens to reveal an internal storage compartment. Called Load Top Tube Storage, the new system allows you to stow tools in the top tube inside a padded neoprene sleeve. This is the first time road bikes from Canyon have featured internal frame storage, and the brand says that the neoprene sleeve can fit a Canyon 3-in-1 multi-tool, along with the necessary tools for fixing tubeless punctures. All bikes in the range will be shipped with the neoprene sleeve, but you will have to order tools separately. Now, Canyon says that you will be able to buy those tools individually or as a bundle when ordering. Like with the Endurance AL, Canyon has increased the tire clearance on the new Endure CFR and CF SLX models from 30 mil to 35 millimeters. And they're saying that it allows you to get creative with the surfaces that you ride. Canyon says whether or not this makes the Endure suitable for your gravel riding depends on the definition that you have for gravel. The brand says that the Endure has road bike handling though, and riders looking for a true mixed terrain setup will likely be more at home on one of its gravel bikes, say the Grizzle. All bikes in the new Endure CFR and CF SLX range have a 30mm front tyre and a 32mm rear tyre. According to Canyon, this is because you transfer most of your weight through the rear wheel. 
All road bike wheels used in the new range of bikes feature a 22 mm internal width and are tubeless compatible. The CP0018 aero cockpit used on the Endure CFR and CF SLX originally featured on the Canyon Aeroad and is said to remove the complexity of single piece integration cockpits by introducing adjustability. The width of the cockpit can be adjusted by up to 40 millimeters in 20 millimeter increments. Alongside a set of spacers to adjust the handlebar height, Canyon says the CP0018 cockpit offers 12 configurations. Now I've used this on the Ultimate Road Bike and I have to say that while initially skeptical, I was quite impressed. Canyon's sport geometry has been a feature of the Enduro since it first released it in 2014. It hasn't changed, but that's a great thing. And I want to give you a quick rundown of it because it is what makes an endurance bike more suitable for a club rider than full on race bikes. Let's compare it to Canyon's ultimate road race bike. In a size medium, the Enduro has a 27 millimeter higher stack and a 15 millimeter shorter reach creating a 1.56 stack to reach ratio. This is less aggressive than the Canyon Ultimate race bike, which has a 1.43 stack to reach ratio. Now Canyon says its sport geometry creates a more open fit to reduce load on your back, shoulders and your core. That's great if you're an everyday rider, because let's be real, most of us are carrying a bit more timber up top than a pro, and being comfortable is the first step to riding fast. So, a bike that sounds like it'll be fast and comfortable. With the tire clearance added in, you might be thinking that this sounds perfect for year-round use. There is just one problem. The Endurace forgoes mounting points for mudguards. Canyon says it opted against incorporating fender mounts in order to keep the wheelbase shorter for the desired handling characteristics. Personally, that's a real shame, but what do you think? Has the bike piqued your interest? Let me know in the comments below, and if you like the bike, then like this video. And after you're done subscribing, why not check out this video?